Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news you need in around five minutes. Another day, another little drip of information around Apple's forthcoming AI strategy. According to a post by the Weibo user known as Phone Chip Expert and reshared by Mac Rumors, Apple is, quote, said to be developing its own AI server processor using TSMC's 3NM process, targeting mass production by the second half of 2025. They continue, Apple has ambitious plans to design its own artificial intelligence server processor. As to why they might be interested in this, they write, Apple's purported move towards developing a specialist AI server processor is reflective of the company's ongoing strategy to vertically integrate its supply chain. By designing its own server chips, Apple can tailor hardware specifically to its software needs, potentially leading to more powerful and efficient technologies. Apple could use its own AI processors to enhance the performance of its data centers and future AI tools that rely on the cloud. While Apple is rumored to be prioritizing on-device processing for many of its upcoming AI tools, it is inevitable that some operations will have to occur in the cloud. So two things. One, how credible is this source? Well, MacRumor points out that they have a number of previous accurate claims around Apple products. But when it comes to would this make sense with their strategy, it seems like self-evidently yes. Apple likes controlling everything end-to-end. And even if they're not able to do that before they start putting their AI strategy into market, you better believe they're going to be interested in moving towards that sort of model. Apple researchers also just released another new open LLM that they called Open ELM, which while the details are beyond the scope that we're going to get into here, again, just shows how much activity is going in the AI space for this company. Over in OpenAI land, the company has announced what they call more enterprise-grade features for API customers. OpenAI announces PrivateLink, which they call a new way that customers can ensure direct communication between Azure and OpenAI while minimizing exposure to the open internet, i.e. enhanced enterprise-grade security, better administrative control that gives organizations more granular control over individual projects in OpenAI, and of course, an enterprise version of the new Assistance API, which has also been improved for developers more broadly. Finally, they announced more options for cost management. Now, I'm sure that enterprises will be interested to learn about these changes, but I think the Flowers from the Future account sums up many of our feelings when they write, we don't care about corporate quality of life nonsense, we want GPT-5. That same account, who has had some accurate leaks from OpenAI in the past, also interestingly tweeted, OpenAI not feeling threatened by the fact that other models come very close to GPT-4 obviously shows that they have already left the LLM game behind and don't really care anymore. GPT-5 isn't just a way better GPT-4. It's the next game after chat. They let the others fight for it now. Now, not everyone agrees. There are other reasons why OpenAI might not be racing to release GPT-5. However, it is an interesting thing to speculate on. Over in big company land, Coca-Cola and Microsoft have announced a new five-year strategic partnership to, quote, align Coca-Cola's core technology strategy system-wide and basically, in so many words, leverage AI. They write that as part of the partnership, Coca-Cola has made a $1.1 billion commitment to Microsoft Cloud and its generative AI capabilities. Effectively, this is just a standard Microsoft Azure deal with a lot of emphasis on AI that's taking advantage of the fact that there is an AI component and a big, fat, juicy number along with it as well as two very prominent names, to get some buzz and make some hay. But then again, as the drumbeat of people wondering if businesses are actually going to see value from AI and going to commit deeper to it gets a little bit louder in the press, this type of story could be an interesting counterweight. Amazon has announced a new feature in Bedrock called the Custom Model Import. Basically, this allows companies working with AWS to import and access their in-house generative AI models, not just the models that are in Bedrock's library. So the VP of Generative AI at AWS, there have been AWS customers that have been fine-tuning or building their own models outside of Bedrock using other tools. This custom model import capability allows them to bring their own proprietary models to Bedrock and see them right next to all of the other models that are already on Bedrock and use them with all of the workflows that are already on Bedrock as well. In other words, this to me is really just an extension of Amazon's existing point of view that there will not be one model to rule them all or even a handful of models to rule them all. There will instead be tons and tons of custom individualized models, and they want to be able to support all of that. Lastly, it is not just the Meta suite of apps that are getting a Meta AI upgrade. Meta's Ray-Ban smart glasses are getting it as well. The company writes, we're rolling out Meta AI with vision, so you can ask your glasses about what you're seeing and get helpful information completely hands-free. The company continues, we started testing a multimodal AI update in December, so you can ask your glasses about what you're seeing and they'll give you smart, helpful answers or suggestions. That means you can do more with your glasses because now they can see what you see. Starting today, we're rolling this functionality out to all Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses in the US and Canada in beta. So an example, if you've got a menu in a different language in a different country, the Smart Glasses can use the built-in camera and Meta AI to translate the text. So far, Meta's Ray-Bans have been the surprising AI AR wearable breakout, and this feels like just another feature that could keep that momentum going. 
For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Breakdown Brief. Up next, the main AI Breakdown.